you could go the other way with this. You could make things so small. I was asked a question on one of my previous live streams about should cl does c clean code just mean um, smaller code, modular code? Well, no, it doesn't because you could go really small and have like just a couple of methods within within a class, but you could have hundreds of classes, thousands of classes, and they could all be doing the same thing, but in a very different way. So they could all be doing similar bits and pieces. And so what there, what you could be, you could be doing instead is maybe using some polymorphism um, or some better encapsulation to handle those kind of eventualities. You might, you might think to look at some factory classes as a way of generating, instantiating those 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 objects um, that are returned instead of having humongous amounts of classes dotted all over the place and that do a similar thing. That also means that um, your inheritance is wrong because perhaps all of those many classes could could be condensed down into a base class. And that's another point that I want to make. There's this thing called pushing down. So that's where you're putting um, methods into base classes, classes that you are extending from, which means that other classes can then extend from that, which gives them the functionality. Just be careful though, because that will, you might have your concrete classes as nice and clean, but your base classes could be the God class. So just be careful with that. Um, also having loads of interfaces all over the place um, that, that don't, necessarily do a lot of stuff. Um, they're just there because of a convenience factor rather than they actually have any kind of um, impact on the application. So you've got to be careful that going small too much it may, may be a code smell. Um, and basically you want to, you want to look upon this process of refactoring code as a way of making things better for you and other developers. 